I've had some people ask me about Penn Foster, so I figured why not make a video and talk about it instead of just message, messaging the people back and eventually every time they ask me because, you know, you might get more information out of this video because I've actually logged into my student portal so I can show it to you guys. Um, but this is just my personal opinion. This is in no way, shape, or form bashy pen Foster. This is just my personal opinion, my personal preference. You know, and this is not me telling you to go there. This is honestly what I would tell people is to choose the right school for you and do research into it. And at the very end of the day, if Pin Foster turns out to be the right school for you, then go for it. Um, but honestly, my experience with Pin Foster has been great. Okay, I've learned a and it's completely online, 100%, except for the graded projects that they send to your house and you send back to the school and they're actually graded by a person. But other than that, it's completely online. I mean, work at your own place. You can take up to 15 tests a week by extra cheap. So it's great. You work at your own pace. You don't have a set time that you have to log in to the student. And it is what it is. But it's kind of like the saying you get what you pay for. Yes, pinfall affordable and they have payment plans. But here's my one spill about pinfallster. Not everybody accepts pinfallster degrees. Not everybody accepts pinfallster transcripts. So before you go and you complete the high school diploma or you get a degree for for a job from Penn Foster. Call the places you want to work and make sure they're going to accept your degree and your transcripts and all of that stuff. Because when I was working in Alabama, or when I was living not working because I haven't worked since May. Uh, but when I was living in Alabama, uh, these, I knew of some places that accepted Penn Foster degrees. Now, when you finish the medical billing program at Penn Foster, you take the same certification exam that every other medical biller encoder. you take the same certification that everybody else has. However, when you go to jobs, they will look at not only the certification, but also the school you came from. So, because no around me in tennis of Penn Foster, uh, I most likely will not get a job here in Tennessee. So, my only thing is, I wish I would have done more research into it before jumping into it. Now, I'm not saying Penn Foster is a bad school. I'm just saying that is a downfall on my part because I wish I would have done more research on it. But like I said, at the time that I signed up for Penn Foster, it was May. I was still living in Alabama. I didn't know, well, I mean, Reno really had discussed it, but I didn't like, it wasn't like a decision. Um, so, and I didn't really think to call and ask these people, and when you sign up for Penn Foster, you only have six days to withdraw from your courses, and after that, you're expected to pay in full, um, or continue making your payments. Um, so, I wish I would have... I wish I would have done more research into it and made sure, and I wish I would have took the advice that the Google reviews. So, I mean, yeah, they're not going to rip you off with the Google reviews, say, but most of the people tell you they're not always able to find a job. That part is true. Okay? 
because I've had four different places tell me we're not going to be when you graduate because you came from Penn Foster and we've never heard of Penn Foster so we don't it isn't the same certifications and qualifications of, as everybody else does it, that doesn't matter to us now granted I didn't know if I was eight hours a day probably not because I have severe lower back pain but that doesn't matter I was going to try Okay, because I actually love medical billing and coding. I think the coding aspect of it and learning about different medicines and insurance is interesting. But I would just say call these places and make sure that they're going to accept your certification. They're going to accept your transcripts. They're going to accept everything that you have. Because I've had, like I said, I've had four places tell me it doesn't matter that you have the qualifications. It doesn't matter that you have the certification. Because you chose to go to the school, we can't hire you. And then the places that will hire you, the places that told me they would hire me to have two medical experience or two to three three years of coding experience, okay? I just came out of school. I don't have two to three years of coding experience. So that's my little school on pinfall. Just make sure that you're before you go and waste your time. And okay, the next thing I'm gonna touch on is the payment plans. They offer payment plans. You can pay as low as $10 down and as low as $59 a month, which is what I did. You you can pay as much as you want down, and you can pay as much as you want a month. There's no set in stone, and you get a discount for paying in full, and you also get a discount for auto pay. You don't get a discount for mailing in your payment then. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is books. Oh, speaking of while I'm on payments before I move on to books, um, you can also get a discount if you use someone's student ID number. You get $100 off tuition. Um, like I said, I will be more than happy to refer you if I know you personally. But if I don't know you personally, then I'm sorry. I, I can't. Um, Next thing I'm going to talk about is books. They used to give you the option between regular hardback and paperback textbooks, but now they automatically give you online textbooks. And then once you get halfway through your program, you can call and order books. Um, because books are included in your tuition. Everything is included in your tuition. If you're in a program where you have to take a certification exam, that is also included in your tuition. They pay for you to take the certification exam one time, and then after that, they pay for it. Um, and so I covered books. You get books after you reach the halfway mark of your program. You just have to call and order them. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is grades. All tests and exams are graded automatically. The only thing that isn't graded automatically is the graded projects. Those were sent into the school by you through mail and they're graded by an actual person so you do have to wait a little bit of time to receive those back and if you've done anything wrong they will send them back to you and ask you to correct it. Um, I don't think they tell you what you did wrong. I just know they send you back the project and ask you to correct it. Um, but all the tests and exams are open book. Um, I don't recommend relying on the open book because you do have to take final exams that are proctored. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the proctored exams. With the proctored exams, you can either pay $10 to have your exam proctored by webcam, which is the route I am choosing to do. Or, you can choose to have your exam proctored 
by someone who is not related to you in any shape, way, or form, and they have to have an associate's degree or higher. Um, and then, I'm going to see what else. Oh, and then the next thing I'm going to talk about is boot camp. Boot camp is a program that Penn Foster offers to teach you skills that you will need for the job that you are going into. Most people do that when they are close to graduating or they have already graduated. Boot camp costs $175 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you can also do payment plans for that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is Penn Foster's resources. I'm kind of breaking this down. Penn Foster has a community which is like their forums and you can ask questions to instructors, you can ask questions to students, you can meet up with students that are in your area, you can talk to students in your program. Um, it's really neat because it's like you're still in actual school and it's um, they have the virtual library and writing center to help you with your work and papers. Um, they have career services for after you graduate or when you're close to graduating. And then they have the penfolster.edu website that will give you the phone number and contact information and more information about the program. Um, Let's see what else. Let's talk about the courses that you're going to start out with if you take medical billing and coding. Every person that is, every person that takes a class at Penn Foster will take a class called Starting a Program, which basically tells you how to work with your student portal rules and things like that. It's basically an orientation. Um, kind of like you would have an, at a regular college. And so the goal on that is to get a class. Um, and then you'll take, after that, you'll take the introduction to Allied Health. And then after Allied Health, you will take walls and ethics and allied help and then so on and so forth um you must keep an average of at least a 60 to stay in the passing and you must have a 68 to graduate from the career school um now i'm going to show you my student portal I've scrolled down a little bit so you can't see my student ID and my personal information. But here, you can see where I pay, but like the day I pay on, but that doesn't really matter to me. I pay on the 6th of every month. You'll be able to choose when your payment comes out if you choose to do the payment plans. Um, So this is what my student portal looks like when you first log in. Um, and this is what this is what the other side looks like. And you also, when you first sign up. You will be asked to sign an enrollment agreement, which I would print that out or ask for a copy of it before signing it. Or not, not that like you don't have to put it out or you don't have to do any of that. But I would read it all the way through before signing your name to it. Um, and then after you sign all those papers electronically, you will watch this little video. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have any more questions, 
Well, there's Mr. Donati if you want it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just, I ask that everyone ask me before using it. Because, like I said, if I don't know you personally, I don't really feel comfortable do giving you that percentage off. So, and you do have the option to refer a friend to your student portal. You just have to have their name and email. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it, though. I, I do want to say, um, you can learn a lot with Ben Foster if you don't cheat and if you don't take advantage of their open book policy. Um, I've learned a lot. I really have. And I've really found the whole concept interesting. And I'm really glad I chose to go to school at Ben Foster. It's just kind of upsetting when you're told, we're not going to be able to accept your degree. And uh, we're not going to be able to hire you. Yeah, just just make sure that you're in the clear time. I didn't waste my money, but I wasted my mother's money, which is just as bad to me. But, so, yeah. I'm pretty upset about that.